Okay, this is Coach Dixon from Just Throw It. Here's a presentation that I made about quarterbacking. It should be pretty interesting if you pay attention and listen. Because quarterback position, you know, it has changed over the years. And uh, some things that you need to know about. <coughs> Excuse me. The change, the quarterback position has changed a great deal over the course of the last few years. Quarterback used to be able to count on play action, drop backs, where the defense would be vastly confused by the run fake and the coverages, would be simple and easy to attack. Those days are largely over. Today, defenses are becoming clever, and their coordinators disguise as coverages, as stunts, and blitz better than ever before. As a result, quarterbacks must prefer perfecting the art of getting the ball out of their hands quickly if they are going to survive the modern battlefield that defensive coordinators and attempted to dictate. The two most important factors in determining if the ball will come out of the quarterback eyes and his knowledge. When quarterback played the game of football, their play really should be taught largely with their feet and lower body. The position and the mechanics of their steps make a real difference in how accurate the ball will be put where the ball is aimed to begin with is dictated by the eyes. If your quarterback sees the movement, keys, and sees his reads effectively, then he will oftentimes throw the ball where you want him to throw it. A good piece of advice is certainly to work on mechanics, but the real investment of time should be training your quarterback eyes to see the movement and the keys. The eyes. A great example of this is to put two receivers on each side of the defender and just teach the quarterback how to see that movement key. The quarterback should be instructed to look off the defender and then see the, his movements and throw the ball away from his movements. This drills help the quarterback to learn how to look off a defender and how to see his movements. When the quarterback uses his eyes effectively, he moves defenders around the field like a pawn in a chessboard. This skill is not inherently possessed, but must be trained through the use of routes on air, seven on seven, and live team throwing periods. The best way the quarterback will get full use of his vision is by putting defenses in the front of him and allowing them to move around while you film him from behind. the eyes, then you will have film to see how he is using his eyes to scan the field and make decisions. When this is film is broken down with him, only then can you begin to show him how effectively he uses his eyes. When quarterbacks knows what they are supposed to be looking at, or in some cases not looking at, they are more likely to find open receivers in coverages and get the ball off a more appropriate time frame. One, in my experience, when quarterbacks do not know what they are supposed to be training their eyes on, they are more likely to hold the ball too long, which results in incompletion or interceptions. Knowledge. Two, some quarterbacks do not get the ball out quickly is because they do not know where to deliver the ball until it's too late. I work with my quarterbacks to really enhance their pre-snap reads. Our quarterback is responsible for checking defenders and noticing their alignment and identify what they might be giving up based on the alignment. If the quarterback has a good arm and a sound mechanically, if he 
doesn't, then I will teach him the mechanics of throwing a football in a football game. But most of the times, I found out that they are lacking in knowledge of where to go with the ball. This is another area where the appropriate needs to be taken to teach the game for understanding. At Just Throw It Texas, we spend a lot of time teaching and talking about throws, putting reeds on a dry erase board. I'm an advocate of the system known as the TGFU, Teaching Games for Understanding. This system roughly translates that the best way to get proficient at a skill is to do it in the same manner that you would do in competitive setting in each and every day. In other words, we want our quarterbacks to come up to the line, pre-snap read the defense, and have a pretty good idea where they want to throw the ball long before it comes out of their hands. The only way you, your quarterback will be able to do this is if he has to run and pass concept, you are calling on Friday nights every day in practice and made the same pre-snap reads every day. Knowledge. A great deal of the time should be spent between series with your quarterback talking about what he sees and where he thinks the ball should go. I will oftentimes send my quarterback scenario training plays. A made up play to defense and ask him where he thinks he will be throwing the ball based upon what defense has been has been doing. Knowledge. When you have these sorts of conversations on a regular basis, your quarterback will quickly get good at making these sort of decisions. In a sense, what we are saying is that our quarterback knows where the ball is likely to go before he asks for the snap. Then he is playing a fast and staying ahead of the defense. That gives me better odds that the ball comes out quick and finds the window he should be looking for. Pressure causes the quarterback to move. In conclusion, the vast majority of the time they are reading defenses and going through progression, but they are also pre-reading the defense to gain an advantage. My just or Texas quarterbacks often have a good idea where they are going to be for the snap, and then they are working their eyes around the field to distort the defense before making it throw. The final piece is that this is once they have located their target, an area they are putting to use vision skills that have been practiced through the week, live competition. This is a testimonial to the fact that Just Do It Texas quarterback sees the field well and oftentimes knows where they were throwing before the ball. Now, at Just Throw It, we try to teach you the odds and ends about quarterback reads. And you just have to remember what you see is really a shell of what the defense might be doing. Just because they set up one way doesn't mean that defense is going to react that same way. As soon as that ball is snapped, they're going to move into their real defense. And by your first and second step, you're going to be able to see what defense they really are in. That's if your head is up, your shoulders are pointed downfield. Head is scanning, not looking at your primary receivers. You're looking at the movement. This is Coach Dixon, Just Throw It, Texas.